morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Tuesday, August the 25th, 2020, and this is episode 3,359. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, Relief Factor. Stay tuned. So have you ever heard the commercial on radio? (laughs) I would imagine if you listen to radio, most of you have probably heard this commercial about a product called Relief Factor. It's some natural supplements that address minor aches and pains that can come uh, due to inflammation and aging. (laughs) Well, I'll be 70 next month, and I've got a few aches and pains, and so I decided to try it. Now, I'm just getting started, so this is not a product review. I don't have any recommendations on it yet. But when the package arrived yesterday, it made me think of God's relief factor. Now, the word relief is defined as a feeling of reassurance and relaxation following release from anxiety or distress. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Have you had any anxiety or stress in the last few months? Maybe you need relief factor. God's relief factor. Now, it's interesting, this package arrived, and it comes with, uh, I'm actually holding one in my hand right now, and it has, these are natural supplements, so there's nothing uh, pharmaceutical about these, and um, it's got four uh, little pills in it, and uh, you're supposed to take uh, one packet three times a day uh, for the first week, and I'll not get into any more of that, but when I look at that packet and I see those four uh, little supplements in there, I think about what are some, what is God's relief factor that we can take in every day? So I'm going to share with you some verses. Are you ready? Psalm 46, 1 through 3. God is our refuge and strength, an ever present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. You see, God is our strength. When fear and stress overtake us, we turn to prayer and scripture verses like this. Philippians 4, 6, do not be anxious about everything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Isaiah 41, 10, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you, I will uphold you with my righteous hand. 1 Peter 5, 7, cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Luke 12, 25 through 26, who of you by worrying can add a single hour to your life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, Why do you worry about the rest? Mm. Galatians 5, 22 through 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you, 
I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled. And do not be afraid. Joshua 1, nine. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. 2 Corinthians 12.9 But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest upon me. God's relief factor. That's where we find our relief, my friends. It's it's not in a bag you can order online. It's in his precious word. Father, today, give us relief from your truth, from your promise, from who you are, your faithfulness, your power. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. Have a great day. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.